Alright guys, welcome back to Emily in the Mix. Today I'm going to be showing you a soft synth from Sugar Bites. Very creative team. And this one is by the name of Aparillo. A 16 voice FM synthesis uh, on board with modulation effects and NKS support. Let's get creative, let's check it out and let's go to the screen. Boom, you're on Emily in the Mix. Alright, so here we have it in its default mode. You can see um, basically you've got some sort of uh, showing some modulation. There's probably an LFO or something going on in the background. There's all sorts of effects. Sugar Bites are really well known for their effects. Um, so that could be linked up to some effects. But if you have a listen, this soft synth is really aimed uh, towards your cinematic uh, composers, game producers, video, drama, that sort of thing. So let's have a listen to it here. It is very cinematic indeed. I'm just going to turn up a bit so we can hear it. So this is obviously, this is the default preset that they've got for us here, so we can actually just see what this thing is capable of. And it has a very good aftertouch. Alright, let's get stuck into some of the presets. Um, so first up we've got the ambience. abstract. I really like this one. So what we're looking at here, this is called the Orbiter and basically what you've got is a bunch of different modulation and effects, right? And your soft synth, your actual sound or your oscillator or your FM synthesis is actually located or indicated as this little red um, circle down here. So you'll see as I move these they actually get attached um, via little links uh, which means that the modulation or the effects is connected. Now what's really cool is that the closer I get or the closer the proximity is to that particular modulation or effect, it actually affects the sound even more. So I'll just show you, I'll go through using this preset so you can see exactly what it can do. So this is the sound normally. And we'll move it up a bit. So you can hear as it latches onto various uh, modulation and effects, you're getting different result of the sound, basically. Now what's cool is I can actually grab one of those little effects and I can bring it closer. And you can actually see the closer it gets to the red circle, which is our original sound, the more it affects it. And you can also right click each little modulation here and you can change the amount and you can change its radius which means how close the proximity is before it latches on. See the radius hits there, it's, it's latching on already at that point. And you can turn its level up and so forth. You can also just click anywhere in the orbiter and move all of the modulation effects things at one go. Crazy effects. And then you can actually record the way that your sound interacts with those modulations and moves. So I'll hit record. Alright, so that's been recorded. So here we go. So now it's playing, it's playing exactly what I just recorded. not the best sounding thing. Anyway, it's really interesting. So you can really come up with some really fascinating results um, and have some different sort of things going on in the background. Let's keep going through a few more presets. So there's all the ambient ones.
homepage of the Soth synth you have a lot of access to changing the effects and changing the mix um, straight off the bat. You've got form here. You can increase your jitter. Change the brightness. Really play with the sounds, and you've got your other layer here, which is your effects. Turn the resonance down, width, delay, reverb, mix, and then of course, you got your orbiter here. Get some really wild sounds. Let's check out some of the other presets that this guy can do. So, we've got basses here. Bases as well. I'm gonna go through a few of these. Whoa, really super loud actually. This is cool, it's really heavy. Sounds a bit like a Roland JP or something. So basses there, um, we also have uh, drums, which is pretty cool. Let's check out the drums here. Kick. Oh cool, and they could do double tap and increase the size of the GUI. It's very nice. But I can't seem to drag it out. That's pretty cool though. Not sure what use that would be, but uh crash. Yeah. There is a symbol crash. There it is. Frozen symbol crash. FM synthesis always creates really nice drum sounds. Um, we can go through, we've got some leads as well. And um, we haven't gone through obviously everything. This has a lot of presets. It's got 500 presets on board off the bat, really nicely programmed. Uh, I just wanted to quickly show you the one shot's pretty nice as well. I like those cinema strikes. There's the Orbiter again, which has been obviously uh, recorded to move around like that. Layers and the textures in this soft synth really owe itself to somebody who's in the sound design category, someone who's producing movies, someone who's doing any of that video production, video game, whatever it is. This has the layers to create ambience and texture to create ambience, which is really cool. Uh, and again, you could probably create a song. I might do a 10 minute song challenge with this soft synth. It's actually got the power to produce percussion, 
um, drums, leads, basses, everything. Because it's FM synthesis, it can emulate so many different sounds. Um, but really well done to Sugar Bites, always thinking outside the box and making something really intuitive and really interesting. And yeah, if you want to create sort of new sounds or have a soft synth that actually does something a little bit different to all the other soft synths. Thanks for joining me on Emlyn in the Mix. That's all we got time for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and definitely check out Aparillo if you want some inspiration. We're going to try something new in the studio. All right, till next time, you know what to do. Peace out. Boom.